Hi there, it is time for training and this video is on how to test software reports. We've all seen so many different types of reports and uh, in this video let us see how we can test the reports generated by our software system. First of all, the question is what is a report? A report is an output of the system. So a report is basically some format in which the text and numbers in the system is represented in a useful way to the user. Reports can contain some numbers, they can contain some text, uh, usually they contain both te text and numbers. So let us see a sample report and uh, see how we can test it. So this is uh, a sample report that we have over here. The different checks that we can perform on the report can be divided into three categories. We can test for data, whether the data in the report is correct or not. We can test for presentation, whether the data is presented correctly. And we can test for other factors like uh, performance, does it print correctly and so on. Now let us see what data tests we can do on the report to see if the data is correct or not. Well, first of all, when you execute the report, you have to provide some inputs. Maybe uh, you want to see report for a particular date range, uh, for a particular month or a, for a quarter or for a year, or you just want to see the report of a particular customer, whatever it is. So in this example, let us assume that we want to see the orders summary for quarter one of this year, 2014. So when the report is created by our software system, first we need to test whether it is based on the data that we inputted. So assuming I inputted that I want the report for quarter one 2014. So that is uh, being shown correctly over here. Then we have to test is a report based on the input data. Now quarter one of 2014 is having three months, January, February and March of 2014. So further down in the report, we can see that yes, it has given the data for each month of the quarter, January 2014, February 2014 and March 2014. So the report is actually based on the input data that we gave. Now, next, what we have to do is test whether the data that is presented in the report is correct. There are a couple of ways to test the validity of the data. One is that uh, you can verify this data comparing it with the output provided by the software on another screen. Maybe there is a search screen and uh, you can search for a particular customer to see what orders they placed on which date. For example, if we see Jennifer Perkins, we can uh, search for Jennifer Perkins to see uh, the orders that uh, she placed uh, in this year and uh, see whether they are appearing in the report or not. But uh, if there is any discrepancy between the report and uh, the data being presented by the software in some other screen, uh, we will not be sure whether the report is uh, incorrect or uh, that uh, other screen is incorrect. So the best way to test whether the data being presented in the report is correct or not is to directly query the database and we can go to the database. We can run a query over there. Show me all the orders for January, February and March 2014. And this is all the data that should be present in the database. So everything that is presented in the database should be part of this report. And obviously the data should match also. One more thing we can test in the report is uh, to see if the calculated values are correct. Calculated values uh, uh, you may or may not get in the database directly. Mostly you will not get the calculated values. So here, for example, is an example of a calculated value. This is the total for January 2014. And we can add up the orders for different customers. So we can add up the orders for Jennifer, Betty, Sandra and Frank and see whether the total is actually the same. So let us. Uh, take a second and do that. So 41, 04, 89, 94, 39, 18, 17, 
and it is 187.45 so yes the totals are correct so we can test for each and every calculated value there may be uh, totals there may be averages there may be minimum values maximum values whatever it is we can look at the data being presented in the report and apply our own calculation to see whether the calculated values are correct or not next thing we have to test is uh, whether uh, the grouping is correct so the this particular sample report is divided into section for every month so we have one section for january another section for february and so on so in the section for january we can test whether each of the order dates was in january or not so we can test uh, yes this date is in january 15th january is also in january 16th january yes 31st january yes so this way we can test all the groupings are correct or not next we can test that uh, the text displayed in the report is correct so we can test whether the serial numbers uh, is a column header then first name last name country order date order total and also we can match this particular text to the database columns to see whether the column headers are appearing correctly maybe the first name or last name is interchanged or something so we can verify all that by comparing the output which is this report with the database columns on which we are running the query so that is about uh, the different uh, data tests we can do on the report to verify that each and every piece of data in the report is correct or not if not then we have to log a bug report the second category of uh, tests we can do on the report is on the presentation so first of all the question is that uh, is the report read only because the report is the output of the system it is not supposed to be editable at all so here we can see that uh, this particular report is uh, in the form of a pdf file so it is a read only pdf file we cannot uh, make any changes to it if we try to change uh, any value here let us say i want to type something i cannot do it so this is okay then the next test is is the layout as agreed so the reports are formatted the design of the report is uh, according to the format that is desired by the user of the report so if this particular report is for the marketing department or the accounts then uh, uh, they need to agree to the uh, report format ahead of time and we can test whether this is exactly as per the layout given in the requirements or not the next test we can see is uh, are the tables drawn correctly so here we can see that uh, we have the column headers and uh, each customer's orders are totaled in a single row and uh, then we for the next month we have another table so this is all looking good another test for presentation is to see if uh, the data is aligned correctly so we see that uh, the uh, uh, text strings they are left aligned for example the names are uh, left aligned which is okay country is also left aligned that is also okay dates are right aligned and uh, currency values are right aligned so this is all looking good then in presentation we can also test if the form fonts are uniform or not so here in the report may be showing one particular font for uh, the table header and uh, another font for the column header another font for the actual value within the column so we can test all that so these were the two main categories of tests which are very important most important of course is to see whether the data in the report is correct or not all the uh, data values as well as the calculated values are correct or not etc the second category of tests we can do on the report is to test for the presentation factors whether it is a read only report if the layout is uh, as agreed if everything is uh, displayed uh, correctly and so on the third category of tests we can do on the report is uh, for other factors so first of all uh, we can test for performance is the time taken to generate the report acceptable so if uh, it is a small report or report that we need on a uh, regular basis uh, 
then uh, it should not take too much time to generate the report for example it should not take uh, several minutes or several seconds to generate the report uh, as soon as possible uh, the report uh, should be generated and it is possible that uh, you may have some performance requirements uh, which state that uh, the report uh, should be generated with so much data within so many seconds so we can test for the performance also the second uh, uh, test in other factors we can test is uh, is the format distributable so this is uh, in the form of a pdf file uh, pdf file is a well known format uh, this report can be put as an attachment to an email and uh, or uh, placed on a website and uh, from there a user can download it or open their email attachment and then using uh, adobe reader they can open up uh, this PDF file and uh, they can read it so this is okay but if it is in a proprietary format for example uh, if it's uh, some uh, format uh, for which the user does not know which program is used to open that file then that can be a problem if the user does not have that uh, program or doesn't know how to open the file then the next uh, we can test is that uh, when printing uh, does the report print uh, completely and correctly because many users they prefer to print out their reports so that uh, they can just uh, read it uh, on, on, a, on a piece of paper so you can actually go and uh, print out the report and see that each and every data that was presented uh, on screen within the report uh, is actually printed out and uh, the text or numbers uh, they are not truncated or it does not uh, overwrite uh, uh, the content of the report etc it's a clear and complete printout uh, another test uh, we can do in other factors is uh, when printing uh, does a report uh, retain its uh, presentation uh, so that uh, whatever layout is being shown in the format so the same format should be available in printing also so this is how we test uh, software reports uh, so just to recap everything a report is uh, a read only output of the system the report can contain text or it can contain numbers usually it contains both the most important uh, things we have to test in the report are the data so whether uh, it is showing each and every uh, data that is supposed to be shown uh, each and every data present in the database uh, that is uh, shown in the report I are the calculated values correct is the grouping correct then we can test for presentation factors uh, for example if uh, the layout is correct or not if the tables are correct or not if uh, the data is aligned or not are the fonts correct or not and we can also test for other factors so that the report is uh, available within an acceptable period of time it's uh, in a redistributable format and when printing it is printed uh, completely and correctly so that is all for this video and uh, see you in the next one Thank you very much. Bye.